motherfucker pulling in. <laughs> Jimmy deciding to uh, join Jonathan. Jonathan's here. Uh, we're working on his bike. He's also the one bringing sexy back to David Garage. Give us a show of the abs for the for the women and for Cameron. See that? <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> How about your? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cameron loves abs. Jimmy. Oh. And his dad bod. There you go. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, brother? We have grandpa dad bod. <laughs> How you so, doing, brother? Doing well. All right, man. So here's what we're doing. Um, we're going to work on this uh, piece of shit. I mean, this uh, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> this wonderful bike. So, yeah, what we're going to do is, okay, go ahead and turn that fan off for a second. We'll do a quick before and then an after of the exhaust, not its transition. Okay, 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 okay. All right. We're also going to flash your ECU while we're doing this. Go ahead and start it. So this is the stock bike. It's not a bad sound. No, it's not. But, honestly, as far as stock, as far as stock exhausts go, dude, that's probably Still one of the sound best bad, out yeah. there. It's, I don't know how that's even, honestly, that's loud enough. I'm not sure how they got that through uh, regulations. So what oh, we're gonna so do? Minute, so it's regulations that regulates like the the noise coming out of there. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow! Dude, that's why the bikes don't all come sounding like mine sound. That's Makes why sense. you have to go buy, you know, yeah, Makes aftermarket sense. exhaust to get the sound right. Well, Ducati's being able to pull it off. That's not a stock, dude. That exhaust. Oh no! Is, that's oh, a that's twenty-seven hundred dollar right. exhaust. I, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Ducati tax. Well, she bought it. It came with it already. New ECU flat, which is just a map, and it's only a half pipe. It just goes from like here back, so it gets rid of that big box. Yeah, that's the better part of three grand. 500 or four something for those. Well, those Dang. are stock. I just removed the baffles out and then it was 190 bucks for the decat. Yeah. And that's all stock except for the decat and tune. So what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna clean the shit off of, the, of that chain while we're up there. Um, and then uh, we're gonna let that cool down just a little bit. In fact, grab that fan and put it on this side so it blows on this box. Okay. Try and get that to cool down a little bit. And we'll put on some gloves. And it's a fairly simple install. So that's gonna come off. So the way that the Triumph works is you have cats up in the headers, where the collector, the three comes into one, there's a big cat there. Yeah. Then you got another <laughs> cat in this big heavy restrictive box. Although it doesn't sound as restrictive as we thought, but yeah. we're gonna get rid of that, which is gonna get rid of one of the cats. And we're gonna go to this Chinese made version of uh, an SC project. Now, I will say, when you look at it, this is really nice robotic TIG welds. I mean, it looks good. And this looks fine, although light Ning. <laughs> <laughs> That's the English translation. We removed the DB kill out of it, so it's, it's going to be fairly loud. The carbon fiber is, I don't know what that is. I mean, when you look, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's sort of fibrous, but it also looks like there's a decal or like a hydro dip. It's not looking like normal weave. Um, so, yeah, anyway, the only difference between this and the SC project at this point seems to be that this is all steel. It's fairly heavy for what it is, but whatever, it'll work. It ain't going to be heavier than the shit that's on there yeah, now. Yeah, that's for sure. So I need to go in and get my breakfast sandwich that's sitting on the counter I need to eat. Yeah. You got any coffee inside? Or can I make coffee? You can go make coffee. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and stop this. And then um, we'll come back and we're going to go through what you got to do to take that thing off. We're going to put the new one on, fit it up, tighten it up, have a little cover colorful commentary. And then we'll be back after these messages. And we're live. Yeah. All right. So here's what we're doing. We're at Dave's garage. Only got five bikes now because Jimmy took my F MT-10 out for a ride. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We need to remove this. Um, can you bring, I'm going to need all my T handles. I don't know which size I need, probably this one, but let's bring them all down. Break it on down. All right, so let me stand up for a second. Let me see, or just let me just see your microphone. We got a red light, green. Yeah. All right. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Do I see uh, mic check one, check two? Yeah, it's working. All, All right. right. All right, so here's what we got to do. Let me get my uh, little tripod opened. It's going to look so different, dude, with that whole box being removed. Yeah, yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. All right, so. That is a lot of weight on that. We need to take off. Um, is there another T-handle over there somewhere? 
Um, I'm missing a red T-handle, and it's the one that I need. I'm not seeing it over here on this It's side. always something, dude. I put it down because I'm talking. Did I take it in the house when I went to get my sandwich? Son of a bitch. Right here. That's what I need. I there used you it go. for the seat. Yeah, so we need to take off. Shit. Watch out for the bike. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what? Who put that there? It's been there. Yeah, <laughs> it's your butt. Hear that thing, man? I think oh it's good. Oh, my Lord, man. You can hear that shit from miles away, dude. All right, so let's pop that off. Okay, now let's... Boop! Let's pop that off. All right, now... On the other side, let's see, are there any mounts on this side? No, there's just a pin that goes in. Ugh. And on that side, I think there's like a couple 10 millimeter bolts. This is easy as far as installs go. Yeah, I'm that I, say Plumbers that. crack. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. I gotta lose weight. Yeah, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a big fatty. Thunder Thighs is on the loose, Thunder Thighs is on the loose. Yeah, remember when Meg was, they were like stuck in the basement yeah, with exactly. the Nazi, and they're like, should we get someone to go get help? We need someone for help. And then Meg comes along, and instead of sending her for help, they would rather make fun of her. <laughs> oh, it was fucking classic. Is that dickhead back already? I told him to go for a ride. Ah, oh, Jimmy. Yeah, there we go. I thought you were going for a ride. Uh, Jimmy's so wishy-washy sometimes. All right, so now. Jimmy, yeah. kind of weird. Oh my God, Jim, it's just a different bike. People ride different bikes all the time. I ride a different bike every day of the week. There we go. Uh, wow. Uh, I don't know if we need that rubber grommet, but let's see. Hey, Jimmy, make Holy yourself useful. Moly. If you could pass me that little bag of stuff. Wow. And the mid pipe. And now the other pipe. All right, so this is going to go on. All right, let's slide. Oh, oh. All right, so let's move that around like that. That is just going to slide on, and then we'll bolt it in place. I don't know why Jimmy put the exhaust on the other side of the bike, but okay. And this is going to go in to that. So now what we got to do is work. adjust wow. that. Man, they fucking nailed that. Here, you're the cameraman. Hold that thing nice and steady. I just wish I could see the screen on this side. Yeah. So we want to get the pipe where we want it here, and then that else, all everything else, just kind of then has to align. Yep. So that's good. That's in there. We got to put a spring from here to here. Uh, we got springs. It came. It came yeah. With springs. So we'll go be on that. Yeah. This came with some other stuff. I don't see where we need it. So we only really have one spring. So we got to go from here now. Let's see if I got a spring tool. What, Jimmy? Yeah. You see this? That's what this is for. Ah. You may have been using it as a prostate tickler, but this is actually <laughs> <Prostate> for. <tickler. laughs> yeah. Um, what this is actually for is you hook it on one end, hook it on up here. And then you use this to pull that and hook it onto the other tab. Now you can't put the camera sideways. Come on. <laughs> I got to get it to that clip right there. You'll just have to go from the other side. Try it. Yeah. You're going to be like that boomer that 
films things. You're holding it sideways. Come on. Okay. Jimmy, where'd you find this guy? Is that better? Right here. here, give me the damn camera. Dude, give me I the goddamn you. camera. Oh, you got it in already. <laughs> oh, it's in. <laughs> here, take it off the selfie stand. Uh, uh, no, no, don't, don't touch it. You're going to pull the wire out. Dude, you're going to fuck it up. Alright. There it is. It's in there. Alright. <laughs> now I gotta tie this. Oh, this guy. Alright. No, it's not broken. Alright, here you go, Chachi. Chachi. <laughs> cha cha cha. Alright, so the install, it's a it's a piece of piss. This is nothing. And now, what? No. Now we just need to clamp it here. Let's do it like from the bottom. Let's see. Keep that up out of the way as much. Shit ain't going nowhere. Yeah. All right. Well, we're done. <laughs> That's how easy that is. Yeah, that was a... Uh... Yeah, dude. In less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna drop a tune in it next, and we're cleaning the chain while we're here. Yeah, I got so. It. Yeah, that shit is spitting fucking oil. All right. So, oh wow. So you still have one cat in there, which is right here. That. Yeah, that big bottle looking thing right there. Now all I need to do is get these tabs lined up, which are always fun. Uh, Dude, I know, right? <laughs> You're not lying. Six hours later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot like that. All right, so that goes in here. Here. It's not aligned. It's not in there. You got to lower it just a little bit. There you go. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, there you Why go. What? Why did you buy this thing, though? Uh, because it was like $800 cheaper. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, the SE project, the SE1 project is like a freaking $1,000. Just for the clip on? Yeah, they're ridiculous. That, they're that same exact one. Same exact style, everything, man. It's like eight to $900. And then imagine after taxes and shipping, you're going to be at about a grand. Or not even, there's, there was, the one I wanted was technically $1,000. So then still, taxes, shipping, yeah, I would have been paying over 1000 for that shit. $1,000 make you holla. <laughs> Like yeah, um, on eBay it was like it was like one ninety nine or best offer. I forgot what I offered. Then the guy negotiated back, and then but after taxes, shipping, it came out to like one ninety nine, which is so I saved like about at least eight hundred dollars. And so um, I looked it up on like what it sounded like, and it actually sounded pretty good. So I was just like, yeah, shit, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, all right. So in case you ever need to put your old system back on, keep all that shit together. Yeah. Got it. Got it? Yes, okay. Sir. Right, so we got that, that, that. Now the fun part. Turn Here's it where on. you see the magic, Jonathan. Okay, where's your top hat? First of all, we're going to put the strap back on your battery. Oh, yeah. Put the strap back on. Yeah. So your battery doesn't go flying off. Nope. We don't need that anymore. All right. So we got Ooh. that. Uh, That's where my tablet, yo? Where did I put my tablet down? Oh, right here. Okay. Is that a wireless box? Or yes. Okay. Magic, Oops, just sorcery. Oh, Hit a button. <sighs> Fucking dude, just don't touch it. You mess it up, seriously. This is not where you want shit to go wrong, by the way. That is also a very good point. Uh, ECU connect. Scan for devices. ODB link, unregistered bike. Do I want to register it? Yes, I'm giving you... One of my last licenses, okay. All 
All right, give it a second to connect. All right, we are green. We are now connected. So here's oh, what wow. we're going to do. Let me just change maps for a second. Here's your stock map. This is your fuel, fuel tables. We can see gauges, all that kind of stuff. So this is how much throttle you give it, and then this is your RPMs, and then it tells it how much gas to squirt in there. If you have cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, these are the L tables for cylinders one, two, and three. Then you get into your gearing, your timing. And so we've got, I have another map I made that we added a bit of timing. And then we're gonna go to, Uh, your throttle tables. So this is your rain mode. You give it 83.3% throttle and it gives you 48. You know, that's how it tailors your rain modes. Okay. There's no longer a direct connection between this and what happens there. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to put a battery tender on this before we actually get started. Um, then you go to um, ETV2. The screen is just not that sensitive. Um, and there, you know, now you're in road mode. And then when you go to sport mode, you'll notice the numbers are all higher. So this is how much you twist, and then that's how much it delivers, right? Oh. And then your AFR targets down here were like really lean. So what I did was created a new map based on that map, added a bit more fuel. I added about 10% and then 7% and then five and then three, just kind of blended it in on the areas that I know that this bike is typically lean. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, we added a little bit of ignition timing. And so we're up to 38 degrees up top. And let's see, what else did we do? Left rain mode alone, left road. But I did make your sport mode just a little bit more aggressive. So yeah. a little bit more happens. Not crazy, but just a little bit more while I was in there because it's not really that restricted. And then instead of 14.5s, we're looking for 13.2. So the O2 sensors are going to leave active to hopefully if it does make any changes down in this area, it'll be towards richening it, not leaning it. Okay, got it. All right, so what we wanna do now is I wanna go to ECU and let's go to informations. Um, let's see. Let's just check your VIN number before we get closed. I'm gonna get a battery tender out, so I'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and shut the video down for a second. I wanna go and double check a couple things before we go flashing uh, this ECU. So, so why do we got to use the battery tender? Just so that the voltage doesn't drop below a certain point while we're in the middle of a flash because oh. the headlights on, things are powered up. So we're going to put the battery tender on it just to keep extra juice in there, make sure we don't have any issues. Okay. Um, and then after I double check, uh, you know, the map and stuff like that, we're going to go ahead and push it to the bike. So we'll be back in a minute. Word. Give me that. Let's get our battery tender out. Let's get our stuff. Crap. Out. <laughs> so, wow. All right, we're back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just gave birth to it. Wow, Babies come out your butts, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, glad we double checked this because I had to restart the app, went to ECU, and uh, went over to see that the base map was actually. Oh, let's go ahead and connect. ODB LX. So we're connecting via Bluetooth. Yeah, the, we took out the DB killer. We got our, oh, whatchamacallit on mm -hmm. there. That was in there. We already and, took it out. All right. Oh, really? Mm hmm. And it was 31004. What does that do again? Or 31044. Oh, so that's the map we got in yeah, there. So basically, I went in and applied all my changes. So this to is going to be like the max. So we're going to do now. So all right, so here's what we're doing. We're about to hit the point of no return here. So we got our map. It's got our extra fuel, got our ignition advance, got the AFR targets. I also have your cooling fan turning on. Instead of 103 degrees Celsius at 96, so your fan will come on a little, a little sooner, sooner. Yeah. keep the engine a little cooler, add a little bit of extra fuel, a little bit of ignition timing, and we increased maybe five, six percent on your throttle snap. So when you give it gas, it's going to have a little bit more of an effect right here. Oh, so sweet. Do or, not kick the wires out or anything because I'm hitting reprogram, continue. Are you sure this could blow up your bike? Yes. Yeah, so you want to take that risk? <laughs> it's on my bike, so fuck it. Yeah. All right. Reprogramming in progress. Now, if all goes right, so what is this don't say, touch anything. Disconnect the battery. What does this do? <laughs> so what is this supposed to do? We're reflashing the ECU. We're changing the map and some of the parameters to account for the pipe. Oh, okay. I can do that directly. Yeah, instead, yeah. instead of me having to go up to Chris Moore like I do with those things or that and that, or whatever, some of these bikes, um, I can do it on my own with the Triumph. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. 1%. And now we wait. <laughs> it's not really fast. So 
Well, we're gonna have to cut this out, put some elevator music, and then cut back yeah, in. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah, there's like an elevator note of the girl from Ipanema or whatever one of those songs that usually plays. Remember, like on uh, Star uh, Family Guy when they're doing the Star Wars and they're going up the elevator in the Death Star, and it has the elevator like lounge version of the Death Star, the, uh, the theme song. <laughs> or we'll get the, thong, the song, the song. We'll get the song from the uh, from the Cantina. It's a good one. So that's not only, dude, that's, that's overpriced. Is it overpriced? Because I Because a new one's less than that. A 2023 is less than that. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, it's around a, a brand new one. Yeah, a brand triple? new. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh wait. It's oh, a that's a speed triple. Oh, that's a speed oh, triple. Didn't catch that. Speed triple. That's a speed triple RS. Is it the 1050 or the 1200? That's a 1050. It's a 1050, I think. And it, he already changed the headlight, too. Which is not good. No? No, the, reg, the regular headlight. I don't know why people do that. Oh, that is nice. Is that a nice looking bike? Is that a Gainesville Motorsports? It's a yeah, yeah, it um, is. Look like the porch. Yeah, yeah. it's a Gainesville Motorsports. Look, look, see? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Hmm. And it would, yeah, because he sent me the address. Well, Do me I the sense a road? If that's trip? a ten fifty, I mean, that's a big step up in power. I think. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna Browns Bridge, yeah. Gainesville. Yeah, who are you talking to? I don't know, Anthony. Just yeah, okay. One of the guys. I know Mark and John. Anthony. Mark. But, I mean, I thought that was not about. Bad price. I, I thought it was it a street trip. It was like yeah. fourteen five. The question's going to be on Kelly Blue Book. It was going for right. fourteen something. The question on that's going to be, do you fit on it? Yes, that's that's I want to go. Because yeah, you can't true. go by seat height no, because it's yeah. a very wide seat. Right, I want to go check so. it out and see how it feels. But I thought the price ten percent. <laughs> right, for, for, insanely fast bike for a twenty twenty. That's I the ten fifty. So that, those make around. Fast. You've had one. I had the older 1050s. I had 130 a, horsepower at the wheel, about 136 to 138. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, but that's double what you have now. <laughs> so that's a big well, jump as a percentage. I'll that's a big easy. jump I'll up. Take it easy and get my you know bearings and. You want to because that thing it. has so much torque. I'll yeah. learn on it. Yeah, so that way I don't have to for two years from now I don't have to step up another you know another to another bike. I can keep this for another like five years. Yeah. What, you get what I would do is if you got that bike, I would put it in rain mode. For the first couple months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, well, because that's going to drop it to uh, yeah. 95 or 100 horsepower. That's going to put on the training that's wheels. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But with all that torque, you're going to hit gas, and it's just going to kick you off or go. I mean, that's yeah, a very torquey bike. Learn throttle. Learn how it rides. Yeah. I think you'd but enjoy one price, of these better. But the price, I was like, damn, the price for this? For a speed triple, 13.5? Yeah, GMS? we'll have to go look at What I don't like are those heads. It has ABS, yeah. No, I don't, oh. it's a GMS. Those are... I, what I don't like is the damn headlights. People really? are like, yeah, the bug, the bug eyes. I that like was one of the things eyes. that the Speed Triple I mean, was known for was the bug eyes. eyes. Cool, but I kind of like the wow. single headlights. I know. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, it. Um, but for the price. Over Bluetooth, saying. it takes a little while. The price. That's yeah. what I was saying. The price of the, price. For the price of that type of bike. Dude, I'll get it right. now. Take Let's this. Go. We're going to clean now. that so shitty open. chain of yours. Yeah. I'll go with you. We're going up there. You want John? Yeah, Jimmy wants to test ride it for you. He'll come back and give you a full report. (laughs) But I found other ones that are going. He was like, "So good, I bought it for you." (laughs) I found the Street Triple going for eight thousand, and it has more miles on it. I'm like, I just spent a couple more grand and get a better. There's nothing wrong with the bike. I get a better bike, you know. I'm not in any way saying. I can grow into it. You'll just, I'm just saying, you will want to be careful. That is a bike that is not going to be forgiving. That is a yep. bike you are going to want to be careful of because it will snap on you and bite you in a heartbeat. So being very, very mindful is all I'm saying. Right. I just looked at the price and I was like, damn, I could get a really nice bike for kind of the price range that I'm trying to stay at. Then also I was looking at the Z900, the Kawasaki Z900. Those are cool looking bikes. You got to be kind of light in the loafers to ride a Z900. Why? Because Cameron has one. Oh, really? <laughs> light in the loafers. <laughs> yeah. No, um, Z900 is a great thing. Yeah, I just looking at it, I like how the way they look, too. They look, they look really cool. How not to clean a chain. Right this is exactly how you clean a chain. Yeah, that's how I use it. All you clowns it. out there one that I found. slathering all kinds of grease on the outside. That's like doing an oil change, and you're like, all right, I drain the oil, put in the filter, and then you're going to pour the oil over the top of the motor. It's like that shit needs to be inside to do its job, and chain lube is largely the same way. The lube that really matters is what's down pressed into those O-rings when they assemble them and squish them together. And those are sealed. You're not getting down in there. 
Did you say cash or gash? I already sent him a message. I have to. I thought you said gash of, with a G. He's out of town and his brother's out Kids. of town for a month, so I'm not going to be able to go see it until like May. So I know it's not going to, nobody's going to buy it until like May because he doesn't have any, nobody can. Like Family Guy when he took uh, Lois to the, uh, Lois got injured and so he took her to the doctor. He's like, yeah, we've got this nasty gash. And he's like, well, what seems to be the problem with her? <laughs> You remember when Lois was getting fat and, and Peter was in love with her after that? And then when she got the surgery, got all the fat removed, and they had it like in a big bag, and they opened up the closet door, and he's there making love to the fat. Uh, <laughs> you remember that shit? And then they're, just, they're all quiet looking at him, and he's just like, yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> he's like, I want you fatter. He's just like, I, mean, I was eating a bowl of cereal out of, the, out of the one of your dimples out of your ass. you let me drive off the bike, that's a different story. That's a different story. When you show up with cash in hand, that's a different story. When you show up with ten five. What do you think of this? Same one, but a little less miles and a little less price. But you can't see it till May. I can't see it until May because the guy's out of town. Ugh, it's whatever. a private seller. Yeah. Just go up to the dealer and see what you fit on. I think the bike's gonna be too big for you. Really? It's gonna be tall and top heavy for you. Yeah. yeah. It is a heavy bike. Yeah, it's bigger. It's a than great this bike. bike. It's a great my bike. bike isn't, my bike's five is your forty. Yeah, but it's also, it's hobbit size. The seat's only like a foot off the ground, so it's... The weight's probably a little higher on that one. I'll have to I try mean, it. There's a big difference when you're down in a bike like that with the right, weight right. and you're up on tiptoes on, on the bike. Yeah. Because yeah, when you pull up to an intersection, you pull up somewhere on a driveway where there's a dip, right. and that's you go to it. put your foot down, and you're like, uh-oh, well, here I'm we go. Gone. You got that money, why don't you get an MT-10? 33%. That's yeah. like one of the best bikes I've ever all right, so we clean the chain. Wait, how much was the MT10 though? How much was the MT10? I forgot. Out the door with taxes, fees, everything was 16.5. Man, that's still not bad. I mean, it is a lot, but that's not. That's bad. why for you, I would get an MT09 SP, because the SP model is 12.4, which comes with Olins and Auto Blip and all the electronics of that. It's just a little bit smaller, but it's still over 100 horsepower at the wheel. I used one that's a year older. I mean, he's not getting. Not getting good I don't control. care about cruise control. The older ones, you remember riding. I don't have um, control now. Yes. I didn't like the older model NT10s. Yours control? is better. Because it's narrow like control. a sport not bike. A the other one was very bulbous and wide, and I just didn't like it. No, you're right. Of course I'm goddamn right, right? So lunch and a beer is in the schedule, right? Uh, go do you know me? It's always in my schedule. <laughs> it's always beer 30 for me. I'm just you know here. what I'm saying? You haven't eaten anything. Jimmy's here for I had a very support. light breakfast. Yeah. I'm trying to watch my figure. Uh, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Go kayaking tomorrow when the weather's kind of iffy. Today's beautiful for riding, Jimmy. Man, I texted yeah, I text John like three days ago. He just finally responded now. Oh my gosh, Jimmy, you haven't done your taxes at all. Damn, I'm slacking off. They want me to pay this year, I bet, too, because they took out that. We owed eight grand. Yeah, after paying 65000 in taxes, then oh I owed another Lord. eight. <laughs> No, like, I, fuck you. Dude, I paid only, I made a little, over, on paper, I made a little over 60, but I only paid. Dude, you're on video I saying this shit. I don't care. Matt, make sure you tag the IRS when you put it. IRS.gov. Yeah, 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 no, but, uh, yeah, we got this oh, footage oh, of you know. saying that yeah. you made 60. <laughs> so, yeah, we want to see those papers. <laughs> you know, so we want to see those papers, buddy. My tax guy. Yeah, I was gonna say I've already paid almost twenty this year, Dude, with between, but that includes Social Security, that includes yeah, Medicare, all that shit, state, federal. Yeah, I only paid four hundred for state and thirty four hundred for federal. This is why I get mad at liberals. Like, That's pay your fair share. It's like. Fuck you! I paid more than you than you make, yeah. and it's like you tell me that's not my fair share, and you want my taxes to go higher. It's like always the people that have no skin in the game are the ones that are like, oh yeah, higher taxes are fine. It's like yeah, well you ain't paying them now, right. and you're not going to pay them the new ones. So of well, course it seems like a good idea to you. You need to pay for my student loans. It's, there you yeah, go. then you got that too. To I just paid my student loans off and have no business tax and no income tax. In so Dubai, how the hell do they even survive? Yeah, good luck getting a the beer there. I don't drink there. I can go there. 
A lot of Muslim other girls, countries other, are. Other girls uh, hot in Dubai? Oh, then I'm definitely going, dude. How would you know? You can't. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Whole Here we're getting a little. Uh, definitely a lot of those Arabic women, they got some nice bodies, man. <laughs> Jimmy's like. Yeah. Well, they do. Yeah, but. No pornography, <laughs> drinking, all that stuff. Dude, it's a Muslim country. Yeah. They're, they're not put up with a lot yeah, of that that's for the Muslim. I'm not Muslim. <laughs> yeah, but you're living in their country. Yeah, you got to follow them. You got, what do they call it? Sharia law? That's, that's Listen, I'm fine with no porn as long as I got an ample amount of women for me to have fun with because then I can do my own porn. No, yeah. you have to like find one and marry one and then make her wear that whole thing. That's fine. As long as she's hot, I don't care. Because uh-huh. you know, if she's, if she's covered up, that's even better. Like now no one's going to be looking at my chick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. If they're always having to wear all that stuff, it's like, do you really think like their grooming habits are up to par? You, or do you think when she takes her underwear off, it's like she looks like she got buckwheat in a leg lock? <laughs> I'm now wondering yeah. if any Muslims like are going to respond Fidel to this Castro's video beard. and just, like, just start throwing in their two cents. Well, the women are very clean, very clean shaven, you know, blah, blah, blah. Albert Einstein with a hatchet wound. I can come up with all kind of euphemisms, euphemisms for... But it's actually, still, it's actually pretty... Yeah, that's uh, still a good idea. Um, Idea. Yeah, don't need a good tax guy. My guy is bomb. Yeah? yeah. All right, then I need his information because I need a tax he's guy. Bomb, dude. I know I'm going to get serious, raped right I now. Mean, I yeah, I'm serious. Bomb. I need your guys' information. Yeah. You guys were talking about your tax problems on Dave's garage here and all this stuff. Dave's I haven't mentioned anything garage. about my taxes. Right. I just said I need a right, tax guy. We are guy. recording right now. Just so you know. I don't hey, know. that's what I told them. We may them. have to edit this out because I don't know how interesting this is. I was talking about <laughs> taxes. We're talking about motorcycles and cool stuff. Well, actually, I'm going to use this as a write-off. Who wants to hear that nonsense? It it does actually. We are writing off. I got to start an LLC for my I YouTube told you channel. To do that, dude. It's a business expense. But yeah, people talking about our tax returns has got to be boring, boring or annoying or a little yeah. bit of both. A little bit. Just cut it out. Just edit it out and cut it out. I'm gonna have to. Cut that. I watched like three minutes of your. But yeah, I got you, bro. Bad yeah, bad I, I need one because uh, I've been having a hard time trying to find one. I have a good oh, comment. Wow. I have so good commentary. Did my Saturday morning block, coffee with Dave this morning. It's already up. Oh, You'll just have to watch and find out, Jimmy. I'll watch it now. 60%. 60%. Gotcha. All right, we're at 60%. All right, let me shut this shit down. We are at 60%. Yeah, well, because this is boring as shit. So let's go ahead and shut this down, and then we'll come back and fire it up, and hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. All right, let's turn this on. Nice looking. I really like how they look. All right. They look really sleek. It's going to have to settle down in a minute. Kind of settle into its new parameters. Air pressure. So it's adding a little bit of fuel down low. But the fueling doesn't appear to be off that much. That's going to go away as you ride it. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. How much was that? 200 bucks. 200 bucks. That's worth it. Actually, it's actually subtracting fuel. 
Yeah, at idle, that. which is which is fine. I'm gonna go ride it around the subdivision or something. We'll get Jimmy's bike in here. You take it for a quick ride. Just ride it around in sport mode. Play around with it. Get on it a little bit. It's gonna smell funny, but that's just the yeah, new oil I know it's a new bike. Yeah, we might go in and play with, um, well, let's see, hold on. Pulling fan, throttle position, throttle position two. Yeah, that should, that, that hanging should clear up. All right, what I'm gonna do is shut this down. We're gonna pop that out. And then uh, you and, just plug it right there. Put the seat back on and you and your happy ass go ride that for a little bit. And we'll give the microphone over to Jimbo. And we'll start uh, figuring out how we're gonna adjust his exhaust. Jimmy, pass me the seat. But it's idling nice, it's idling Thank right you, where it should be. Here, oh, it's now it's coming down quicker. See, it'll start to settle in on its own. It could be a little rich or a little lean there. It's when you reset adaptations, you're resetting all the short-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trims. You're also resetting the crank position sensor, the throttle position sensor, and a bunch of other things. Go race that girl on that little electric bike. <laughs> I think you could take her. <laughs> I don't know. She might give him a run for his money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she might be a better rider than you, but <laughs> you got the faster bike. Sounds really good. It sounds righteous. Thank you. I was I'm looking for this. There's no fire, so that's good. Everything's bolted up. That was one of the easiest exhaust installs I know, ever. right? Compared to the Honda yeah, Fury that so we have to do. Too. Yo, that's yeah, good. I mean, it looks... If you didn't know, you'd go, oh, he's got an SC project. And frankly, it sounds like an SC project. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So as long as it's not like inferior metal that rusts or falls apart, if it's actually stainless, you're good to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You'll see in a How do you get months. it up? With <laughs> the, key. the key. Oh, there. Yeah, you'll the locks. See in a few months. Oh, yeah. Wait, we got to wipe that pipe down. Though, I already right? did before I started. Oh, yeah. oh my bad. Yeah, while well, you guys were sitting here yakking like a bunch of girls, I was. Uh, my taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This How much did you pay for FICA? I paid this much. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, that's important stuff, guys. It is, but it doesn't make for compelling video. <laughs> He's kind of got a Dave's point. Not Dave's garage. Not Dave's garage video, no. No. You got to give it to him. He's got to kind of have we'll, we'll have a, Yeah, we'll have an episode of Dave's accountant. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be one viewer, and it won't even be me. <laughs> so, All right, so go ride that shit around for like five or ten minutes. Go play on a couple roads, and then come back. In the meantime, we'll dick around with Jimmy's. Before you drive away, I need that microphone back. Uh, good point. We'll get Jimmy's bike up here, and, and we're going to see, we're going to show you what's going on with that R1 with his exhaust, and we're going to have to modify how we mount it because uh, it's actually making contact with the back tire. Yeah. <laughs> which you don't want. Tune in for the next episode. Yes, later.